In this video, I'm going to cover the third case for partial fraction expansion, and that is the case in which we have complex roots. For this case, we need some preliminary knowledge. Consider the function f of t is equal to m e to the a t cosine omega t plus theta u of t. If we use Euler's identity to express this in exponential form, we get m e to the a t multiplied by e to the j omega t plus theta plus e to the minus j omega t plus theta, all divided by 2. I can decompose that into 1 half m e to the j theta e to the a plus j omega t plus 1 half m e to the minus j theta e a to the negative j omega t. If we take the Laplace transform of this, we get 1 half m e to the j theta over f s minus a minus j omega plus one half m e to the minus j theta over s minus a plus j omega. I'm going to call this transform pair star. Okay, let's apply what we just learned to the inverse Laplace transform. I'd like to find the inverse Laplace transform of f of s equal to 4 over s, s squared plus 2s plus 2. First, let's find the roots of s squared plus 2s plus 2 equals to 0. These roots, found with a quadratic equation, are minus 1 plus or minus j1. Using partial fraction expansion, f of s can be decomposed into a over s plus b over s plus 1 minus j plus c over s plus 1 plus j. Using my standard technique for doing partial fraction expansion, I'll take the whole transfer function and multiply it by s, which is the denominator for the a term. The s's will cancel and I'll evaluate this when s equals to 0. When I do so I get the result a equal to 2. I can do the same thing with my complex roots. To find b I'll take s plus 1 minus j multiply by the transfer function and then evaluate at s equals minus 1 plus j. When I do so I find that this is minus 1 plus j. We can convert this into polar form to find that this is a magnitude of 1.41 with an angle of 135 degrees. I've noted here how I convert from rectangular to polar form for complex numbers, just so that way you are sure where we're going. As a result, b is equal to 1.41 e to the j 135, and c is just the complex conjugate of that. It's 1.41 e to the negative j 135. Now, f of s looks like 2 over s plus 1.41 e to the j 135 over s plus 1 minus j plus 1.41 e to the minus j 135 over s plus 1 plus j. The second two fractions here, fractions 2 and 3 in this form, are the exact same thing as pair star that I discussed at the beginning of this video. So when I take the inverse Laplace transform, my result will be this. f of t is equal to 2, which is the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s, plus 2.82 e to the minus t cosine of t plus 135 degrees, all multiplied by u of t. Note for this expression, omega was 1, a was minus 1, and theta is 135 degrees. If I compare that to my original pair, I'll see that this is exactly what I wanted. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video.